Welcome, this is 49D5 and the title here is Normal Modes for a Pipe that is open at both ends. So this would be like a, a flute, for example. And so if we look at the pattern of waves here, um, we're talking about sound waves, so we're talking about longitudinal waves, but we still need a way of drawing them easily. And so what we tend to do is we, we use the analogy for the, for the transverse waves. So we're drawing basically, uh, if you uh, like, a displacement characteristic. So there's a lot of wiggling going on here. So it's like an anti-node and there's not much wiggling going on there. So, well, a lot of vibration going on here. So it's like an anti-node. There's not much vibration there. That's like a node. There's a lot of uh, vibration going on here, so that's an anti-node. So the rules for this instrument are we have an anti-node at each end. And then how do we draw these patterns again? Draw your wave out. And then you say, well, the simplest pattern goes from one anti-node to the next, and that's what I drew here. And then the next simplest pattern goes from one anti node and misses one and goes to the next, so that's what's in the middle. And then you know you know what's happening next, don't you? It goes from one anti node, misses one, and misses one and gets me that one. So that's the next. So the, the patterns. You can't stop on a node, you've got to stop on the anti-node. And it's the analogy. It's not, there's not actually, a, this is not a vibrating string. This is a pattern for waves in, uh, these are longitudinal waves. But it's the same idea, okay? So we can say, well look, this length, whatever it is, for this first one, I got rid of my diagram too soon, didn't I? For this first one, I will get there in the end. For this first one, this is half a wave. The full wave is from there to there. So this is half a wave. So I say L is equal to a half a lambda and rearrange lambda equals 2L over 1. And for this next one, well that's a full wave. This here is a full wave. So L is equal to 2 over 2 lambda. So lambda is equal to 2L over 2. And this one here is, there's one wave. And there's a half a wave. So L is equal to 3 over 2 lambda. So lambda is equal to 2L over 3. And if I remember that F equals V over lambda, just like for the taut string, I get this expression where F is equal to 1 V over 2 lambda. I'm sorry, V 1 over 2 lambda, V 2 over 2 lambda, and V 3 over 2 lambda. And I recognize, yeah, it's doing the same thing. And I recognize that this is basically a constant. I will get there. Can you see, this is basically, I'll write it down here, this is basically 1 times V over 2 lambda, 2L, and the next one is 2 times V over 2L, and the next one is 3 times V over 2L. These are constant, this is whatever it is, it's a constant. So we have 1 times it, 2 times it, 3 times it. So again, if this is 50, this is going to be a hundred, 
this is going to be 150. They're in a ratio to each other. And so we call this the fundamental or the first harmonic. We call this the second harmonic. And we call this the third harmonic because it's three times the frequency. Okay. So let's look at some questions on this. An organ pipe is open at both ends. The organ pipe is five meters long. Assuming the speed of sound in air is 330 meters per second. What is the wavelength of the second harmonic? Oh, I'm making you work a little bit for this. So my first harmonic looks like that. And my second harmonic looks like that. There's my second harmonic. And if I look at this, that is now a wavelength. So I say, oh, L is equal to one lambda. So five is equal to one lambda. So lambda is equal to five meters. And then I say, what is the frequency of the second harmonic? Well, V is equal to F lambda. So 330 is equal to the frequency times five. So F is equal to 66 Hertz. There we go. Now, let me just tell you another thing you could have done. And you could have said, I'm not going to do the second harmonic to begin with. I'll do the first harmonic. And then I could have doubled my answer. And some people prefer to do it like that. I prefer to do it this way. You practice doing the diagrams, etc., etc. So you could have turned around and said, let's just look at the first harmonic. So the first harmonic, it would have looked like that. You'd have said L is equal to a half a lambda. So lambda would equal 2L. So lambda would equal not 5 meters, but 10 meters. And then you'd have said V is equal to F lambda. You'd have said 330 is equal to F times 10. So F is equal to 33 hertz. And then you'd have said, oh, let's have the second harmonic. So the second harmonic F2 would equal 66 hertz. And the advantage of this is that you can learn the beginning diagrams and then you can do the multiplication as you need at the end. Well, there we have it.